Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. You know how pictures give identity to a website and make up the whole thing? Well, too bad, because we're not gonna use any pictures. Steve Jobs once said that a picture is worth a thousand words and a video is worth <laughs> more. So another big hobby besides programming for me is editing, filming, and taking pictures. That's a huge part. And there's a cool thing that's called a cinemagraph, which is kind of like a static picture, and then you can animate a certain part of it. And I thought, hey, why did I never think of adding this to a website? So let's make it. I also want to thank today's sponsor, this shoe. Uh, it's called, it just, it, it just says fashion on here, nothing else. So hey, buy yourself a pair of fashion, be cool like me. So buy yourself a pair, the link will not be in the description. So I'm sorry. Magic, there we go. I appeared out of nowhere. Wow, amazing. Okay, so for this effect, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need a video editor. Now, fear no more, if you don't have money, that's perfectly fine, because I use DaVinci Resolve, which is free. So, you can go to DaVinci Resolve 16, let's Google it, right here, all right? Click on this, and you can scroll all the way down and just download the free version. It's gonna be perfectly fine, perfectly good. Okay, so once we have our video editor, we need a video. And for the video, uh, this effect is called a cinemagraph. And what you need to do is kind of have a subject that is gonna be kind of static, and then you can kind of animate everything else in the background. So let me show you a few examples on what kind of videos would fit and would work really well to achieve this effect. So cinemagraph.com here is a perfect example. So as you can see this shot right here with the lady, um, you want a video that's very still, right? You, you want it on a tripod, you don't want a shaky camera or something because that's just not gonna work or you're gonna have a very hard time playing around with it. So what's happening here is that this camera is on a tripod and it's filming her and then she's trying to stand still but the wind is kind of blowing her hair. So it's gonna be very easy for us to animate this part. Um, so that's kind of the thing you're looking for is a static kind of still video and just other things moving around. So I found one and I kinda, I'm gonna show you what I mean more exactly with this one because we're gonna have a bit of trouble with this one. Uh, I love this shot, uh, I'm gonna link this down below, but here I kinda just wanna animate the flowers, right? And I want her to be, let's say here, I want this shot. So I want everything here to be still, so like a picture and only the flowers to move around. The problem I'm gonna have is that she's kinda moving a lot around and shifting her body which is gonna cause a bit of an issue. But I'll kind of show you how you can get around that a bit. So make sure to download this. After you download this, you can open up DaVinci Resolve and I want you to go on the edit page. So down here in the corner, click on edit. Okay, now we can drag in our video. So I'm gonna drag it in here and then we're gonna drag it down here into the timeline. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna look for the shot that I want to be static, so the picture, which is gonna be around here, all right? So I'm just gonna move my mouse around up here and here, okay? So that's good. So now I'm gonna cut this. There is multiple ways you can do this. You can just go to the razor tool here, the blade edit tool. I have my shortcuts here, so I don't wanna confuse you. So I can just cut here like that and then go back to the selection tool. I can grab this and hit delete. It's gonna get rid of it. So this shot till here. Uh, kind of like just a few milliseconds. Like, uh, all right, till she kind of starts tilting her body too much. So here, and then you can cut this again here and just delete this part. All right, so this is all we have. So she's not really moving that much around, but again, I wanna show you kinda of exactly how this effect works, so you're gonna see what kind of videos you can mess around with. Now that we have the shot, I kinda of like to change my shot to the way I want it to look. So for that, we can go here to the color tab, and I'll just do some minor adjustments. Like, I want this to be a bit brighter and more contrasty. So we can go here to the uh, this tool right here, the color wheel, and this kind of represents what you have in your image. So up here is all the highlights, the bright spots like this, and here are like the mid-tones, and here are the shadows. So as you can see, there's a lot of information here in the shadows, 
and if we take a look at the image it's kind of true like most of this image is kind of dark so what i like to do is kind of push up the midtone so we can go here to the gamma and these are kind of the middle ground and I, i'll just go to the scroll wheel and just push it up a bit so we can see more of the image okay then I, i'll go to the gain and just push this up to add a bit more contrast and pull the shadows down to give a bit more contrast okay so that's kind of it and this is a node so you can kind of imagine it as a layer and you can apply different effects to it so if i click the zero one here that's what i had before and this is what we have now okay so th this is optional uh, you don't need to do this and i can also adjust the colors so of the highlights i don't like this green look so i can kind of drag it towards the blue a bit to make this bluer okay anyway that doesn't really matter but i like to adjust my things before um i do my things okay so this is what we have and now what i like to do is kind of duplicate this i'm gonna hold alt and drag this out like this all right so we have two of these i'm gonna kind of snap it together and what i want to do is take this shot and kind of freeze it make it a picture so i can right click on it and i can go to change clip speed and we can do freeze frame change and as you can see now we just have an image so now we can drag this moving flower on top of it. Okay, so now what I wanna do is go here to the color again. And what I wanna do is actually create another node here. This is gonna be for our color and the other one's gonna be for our crop. So you can right click here and you can add node corrector like this. Okay, and then you can kind of link it if you hover over it like that, boom. Okay, so this one we're kind of just gonna cut out the moving part of this image. So we can go here to the pen tool right here on the window. So window, pen tool, and then we can just kind of scroll in and hold down the middle button to move around and just click, click, and kind of just mask this around. Now I don't want her hands to move, just the flower. So I'm gonna go around here. And I'm gonna get the whole flower to kind of show you what issue this causes that she's moving around too much. So there we go, cut her out right there. And now what I wanna do is kinda of output only this part of the image. So we can right click here on the empty space and we can add the add alpha output. And then I can drag this blue thing into the other blue thing. So there we go. So now if we hit play space, you're gonna see that only that part moves, right? Because this is the only part showing up here, right? This part, see it's kind of cut out and this one's just the static image. So again, here's the problem that she's kind of moving around. The plan moves nicely, but her body also shifts and moves around. So you're gonna get this weird effect here, right? So optimally, she wouldn't move that much around and you can maybe just shake the plant a bit or the wind kind of shakes it, which gives it a way better effect. But anyway, to kind of fix this, I mean, you can make this kind of smaller, but then you're gonna cut off the flowers uh, in this case. So it's, it's kind of tricky to mess around. What you can do is just go here and maybe add a, a softness to it on the inside. So I can just raise this up and that's gonna soften everything. It's kind of gonna blur it out. So there we go, that's not too terrible. You can kind of just move this around and see how you can get away with this. All right, so that's, yeah, that's not too bad if we scroll out like that. Now, the problem is we still have that moving, that boom, as soon as it gets back to the first frame, it just jumps around. So to fix that, what we can do is go back here. We can grab everything and hold down Alt and just duplicate this, okay? So we can just put this together, play it. As you can see, there's that jump. So we can click on this video up here, right click on it, and we can go to change clip speed again and then we can do reverse speed and hit change so now it perfectly loops back around okay and then we're gonna duplicate everything again and that's gonna be our whole video so there we go take a look so again optimally you would want to have something like maybe a subject standing still and maybe you have some rain pouring down on her so that would be really cool and then you can just cut her out freeze her and then have everything around her animate. Another option that you have is to stabilize the footage. So you can go here if you have a video and you can click on this one and go to stabilizer and stabilize. 
but I don't want to get too too much into DaVinci Resolve because that that's not what this tutorial is about but there we go that's what we have so now we can export this we can go here to the last tab which is deliver and then we can name it cinemagraph or whatever we want I'm gonna do video and we can do mp4 or quicktime or yeah let's just do mp4 h264 is fine you can leave these settings if you have nvidia uh, you can add that as well and then just hit add to render queue and start render and you should have the video so from now on it's very simple you just open up a index.html and what you need to do is just drag that final output in here you're gonna add a video with a source and then you just need to add autoplay and loop so since this is super short it's very cool because you're gonna have this nice animation the file size is gonna be not large at all and yeah it's very interesting so as you can see there's it's kind of messed up so again this is more about searching for cool videos or maybe you can shoot uh, your own videos with the mentality of creating one of these effects which is gonna make it more easy uh, you're gonna find a bunch of them on pixels so let's kind of take a look at some and I'll take you kind of through the thought process of creating these. So let's take a look, Cinemagraph right here. Uh, let's see, okay, so this one's perfect, right? You just have these kids kind of just staying, not moving, and this is moving so you would just mask this out. So you would do a mask around like that. Okay, let's, this is very simple again. So she's just kind of standing still and you would just mask around here to make this part move. All right, here's another interesting one. You can do it with water. So here again, everything is kind of frozen and she just, he or she just masks out this part of the frame. Actually only this part. So that's cool. So just kind of look at these, there's a lot of them. You can create some very cool effects. I felt like this kind of fits into like a flower shop site. So yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I I hope to see this effect used more because I barely saw it in like the programming world and the design world. And I think it's pretty cool. So drop a like if you enjoy this episode, it helps a lot and a sub if you haven't already. And until next time, make sure to animate yourself out. Why do I do these things? Somebody should stop me. Okay, we're done here. You want a kiss? What, what you want from me? I'll give you a kiss. You want you want it there? Oh my goodness.